Okay, so let's configure DHCP snooping. Before I do that, once again, on the clients or PCs, when I use the command ipconfig slash renew, we can see that the PCs are getting IP addresses from the rogue DHCP server. In some cases, they get an IP address from the enterprise server, but in other cases, they get an IP address from the rogue DHCP server. Yes, PC1, rogue DHCP server IP address has been allocated. Typically, it's the server that replies first. And here you can see the PC got an IP address from the enterprise DHCP server. So in simulation mode, when I use the command ipconfig slash renew, we can see that the DHCP message is sent to the switch, is flooded to both servers. A DHCP message is sent from the rogue server to the client and the client receives this DHCP message from the rogue server. We can see it's a broadcast from the rogue DHCP server. IP address is 10.1.100.201 on the rogue DHCP server. We can see that that's the IP address of the rogue server. My packet tracer simulation broke there, so let's do that again. On PC2, IP config slash renew. Message is sent to the switch, it's flooded out. In this example, DHCP message from the enterprise server is sent to the PC. We can see that the source IP address is 10.1.1.200. In the inbound PDU, we can see that as well. Client sends a reply, but notice the rogue server is also sending DHCP messages into the network. So what we want to do is block DHCP offers and other DHCP server messages from the rogue DHCP server. So let's configure the switch. Here's the console. Now this is a bug in Packet Tracer. Even though I change the font size of the CLI, on 2960 switches, the font remains small, so I'll have to zoom in on this video to make it clearer. My apologies for that, but there's not much I can do about it. It's a bug in Packet Tracer. Show IP interface brief. We can see that interfaces Fast Ethernet 0, 1 to 4 are currently up. Show IP DHCP snooping. At the moment, DHCP snooping is disabled. It's not configured on any VLANs at the moment. And no interfaces are trusted. So in global configuration mode, I'm simply going to type IP DHCP snooping and press enter. So now, show IP DHCP snooping. Notice it's enabled. We told that it's not enabled for any VLANs. We'll need to configure that. But let's see what happens at the moment on the PCs. ipconfig slash renew on PC2. Does the PC get an IP address? No, it doesn't. Do that again. No IP address is received. In simulation mode in Packet Tracer, ipconfig slash renew, DHCP message is sent to the switch, and notice it's simply dropped. When I click on the message, switch receives the frame. We've got an inbound PDU, but there's no outbound PDU at all. The PC is trying to get an IP address, but it's simply dropped. We see other messages such as spanning tree, but notice when I run the simulation again, ipconfig slash renew, DHCP message gets sent to the switch and is simply dropped by the switch.
So we've stopped PCs getting IP addresses from the rogue DHCP server, but we've effectively broken the network at the moment. Debug IP DHCP snooping. And let's have a look at packets. IP DHCP snooping VLAN 1 in this case the PCs are configured in a VLAN 1. All ports are currently in VLAN 1. So I'm going to enable DHCP snooping on VLAN 1. And then on Fast Ethernet 02, I'm going to trust that port. So we're going to trust messages from the enterprise server. Again, I'm running the debug. And notice at this point, we see the output of the debug. We received a packet on Fast Ethernet 04. We can see that it was a broadcast. It's a DHCP request message. We can see that a message was received on Fast Ethernet 02. And the switch is forwarding those messages. So let's do that again. IP config slash renew. We've received a message on Fast Ethernet 04. That's once again where PC2 is. We can see it's a DHCP request. The DHCP reply has been sent back out of Fast Ethernet 04 after it was received on Fast Ethernet 02. So on Fast Ethernet 02, we received a message from source IP address 10.11.200 to a destination address of a broadcast. IP address to allocate to the client is 10.1.1.1. DHCP server IP address and default gateway information is shown here. And on the client, we can see that that's what was allocated to the client. So that looks better. Let's run the renew multiple times and see if we receive any offers from the rogue DHCP server. At the moment, we not. In this lab, the enterprise DHCP server has this IP address 10.1.1.200. DHCP pool is 10.1.1.0. So if our network is configured correctly, PCs should only get IP addresses in that range. The rogue DHCP server has an IP address of 10.1.100.201. It's offering IP addresses in the range 10.1.100.0. What about PC1? It's also only receiving IP addresses in the 10.1.1.0 range. It's not receiving IP addresses from the rogue DHCP server. Mm -hmm.